All right, Elfowls is back with a vengeance after a very long hiatus due to to the school. And yeah, all right. And I'm gonna have Mill, Mill, Mill coming up, Mill coming up. Mill may or may not be gaming right now. And uh, we got Scarf, Scarf making his. I don't know if it's his debut, but this is a Dayton player who uh, has. Uh, he was HM on the Dayton PR and. Uh, yeah, they they are the only peach remaining anywhere in like a 100 mile radius of us. Shout us to Midnight. Uh, he actually he uses Palu now, so or they or whatever. Um, but Scarf, yeah, uh, he he took a set off me a couple of months ago, and he is very solid. He's been uh, like I mentioned, the only peach player he used to play Belmonts, but Elfell's just such a solid Rob and one of the scariest sleeper players of the entire state of Ohio. Um, so it's good to see him back. As uh, this is one of my homies, I like this guy. Yes, and uh, oh, here. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you can't commentate without it. But uh, Elfell is off to a strong start, and uh, I don't. It's been so long since I've seen this matchup. I think the last time was honestly before quarantine. Probably. Yeah. We lost all of our peaches and most of our robs. Well, we got a few robs now. We lost the best peach and one of the robs, but that was like after quarantine. But yeah. there's still like 20 robs. Oh yeah, we've we've gained like three of them. He he's like I think he's the most common uh, main at the top level. Ooh, Ooh, I like that idea. I have never seen that, but I like it. Yep. Midnight is she her? Okay, thank you. Uh, I I haven't talked to her before, so I didn't know. All right, and the up smash, you know, catching the landings, I feel like that's one of the uh, most crucial things to do when you're playing against Peach is to cover her landings because she lands so slowly. Definitely. And that's the reason. Nice job, Nightbacker. She but has the float to get out of disadvantage, but once she actually comes to landing, yeah, exactly. she has a lot of trouble. It, it's kind of like Bayou in Smash 4. You want to go to ledge most of the time with Peach, or at yes. least when I used to use her a little bit because, like, back 2018, Angel used this character. Ooh! Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, quick 63 back. and got the up air to boot. And, oh, that's a stitch. Oh, oh not God. Quite gonna get <laughs> and I think that. you wanted to reflect it. <laughs> oh, nice tech from Elfiles, saving him from another maybe 15% there. But, but yeah, just the th one of the, it's one of the reasons if I may talk about Peach Game & Watch, it's one of the reasons it's one of her worst matchups is because Game & Watch has disjoints to cover every single kind of lane she can do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can reflect, turn up if she tries to throw it down. You can shield all of her aerials because none of them are safe on Game & Watch's shield, including Fair. So Scarf definitely down, but not out. Like, yeah, exactly. This this is a stock and a peach combo away from being even. Uh, and he was so close. As big of a body Rob is, I can't help but notice how big Rob is. Like I, he almost got that turnip, but not quite. Almost gonna Z drop. Was that a not stitch quite. again? It I might think, have been. I think it was. Nice. All right, nice back air. Yep. Now I I can't, I can't help but notice also that like oh the tomahawk up oh, smash. Oh, did not quite get the conversion off the turn up. Oh, especially with this chip damage now and up oh, battle heavy. Yeah. Yep, that's it. An up smash or a backer or anything that uses like the I don't know what to call it like the part of Rob's body that he uses to to attack with up smash and backer. I don't know what to call that. Arms? No, that's not his arms. It's like uh, it's air? like it's like or the base oh, up of smash. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, not yeah, up air. This bottom, I don't know. <laughs> right. <laughs> but yeah, Elfels. I can't help but notice. I don't know how much he's even been playing the game because he's he's a very hardworking student at UC, and yeah, like he, yeah. like uh, at Show Your Pride, he came to the tournament to team with me for doubles, and he didn't even enter singles because he had so much work to do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the dude, he doesn't look like he's washed at all. He's Not always. Not at all. He is. I back in better than ever. Yeah. I in fact, I like never. He's one of those players that really doesn't ever underperform. Like I think I've gotten seen him get upset once since we came back, and I think it was like True Dingus. Um, every, but every time I see him at an event, he's usually in the graphics. Yeah. So. Oh, definitely. And like, if the player is seated below him, he probably will beat them. It's a safe bet. Yeah, it's a safe bet. But Scarf is doing a really good job of just keeping the pressure on so far in the second game. All right. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Di there this to avoid that. This is crucial. You. You gotta get. This uh, disadvantage state with Peach. You really just got to find your way back in as soon as possible because you're going to oh, be yeah. taking all this chip damage. Oh, good roll. Good, good roll. roll. Good roll. Yep. And uh, I thought oh. the down tilt was going to catch him on the way in from the roll, but not quite. Yeah, yeah. Jumped right over the laser. It didn't look like he was far enough away to avoid that, but uh, geez, Scarf is looking excellent right now. I've always been a fan of watching this character. The Peach is a very fun character to watch. Maybe not a yeah. fun character to play against, but a very fun character to watch. Not fun to play against and really hard to pick up. One of the hardest characters to play in the game, oh, yeah, for absolutely. sure. And uh, I think that's one of the reasons uh, maybe that Alex dropped the character or it just doesn't use as much anymore because he's having fun with, you know, Wii Fit, Sora, those characters. Possibly. And um, honestly might be Down doing better with them. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that wasn't a dot face. Never mind. I was going to say. 
Oh, jeez. Yeah, Scarf. Very, very good use of float there. Elfels is daring Scarf to... Nice. All right, all right. Going to get that start with forward air. Yeah. Elfels was daring Scarf to do anything, and, you know... All right. Mill will be returning, it looks like, later. But Elfels keeping on the pressure, and... Yeah, Scarf, you know, he, he's holding on to the stock, especially... No, okay, he made it back again, and... Oh, that mix-up was so good, and the forward air. Scarf looking vicious, but Elfel's going all the way up. I was maybe thinking he might try to surprise him with a parasol up there, but it didn't look like he was able to reach him in time, so... Yeah, good on Scarf for not trying to overextend, and that's it. Yeah. I, uh, I sometimes forget that that's a kill throw, just because most Robs get the kill really early, like with like down throw up air, or like up tilt up air, stuff like that. But Elfel's using it at the right time there. And coming back on safely, you know, Elfel's good at using a lot of different mix-ups to get himself back on stage, despite, you know, as big as he is, Rob is not necessarily inhibited at recovery, well, obviously not recovery, I was thinking more like, um, like getting off of ledge and stuff like that. It's, it's not as difficult as a character like Ridley, like shoutouts to Saya, <laughs> but... Yeah, Scarf has been in the lead this whole game um, to different varying uh, levels of, like, percent or, like, a stock advantage, stuff like that. And that fair would have spilled the second stock for him, but just didn't come out in time. Oh, man! Jeez. He, I think Elfels, he thought that he was far away enough and using the side B, and he is doing everything he can to keep Scarf away from that ledge. And he did a good job, but the backer coming in regardless. Rob would never be big. <laughs> All right, Whisper. Oh, this is going to be big damage. Big damage from Scarf. And another stitch. That's the third one this set. And this time it lands. Third time's the charm. And Scarf, like, if he was able to pull stitches at all times, I think he would be unstoppable. Just because, like, oh, jeez. Look, look at how much of an advantage I put him in. He has lapped him in percent. And still alive. Peach floaty, but not, you know, not that late. And the weak hit of backer coming in. That's broken. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right, the laser, you know, that looked like such a weak thing to, to get hit by, but it was close enough to the blast zone for Elfels to be successful. And oh, the weak hit. Yeah, Scarf. Finding his footing so well in the second game, knowing what he needs to do in this matchup, which I can only assume is probably pretty good for Peach. Expecting the get-up attack or maybe a nair from ledge, but uh, Elfel is not giving him the opportunity. Catches the gyro and gets the fair to boot and catches the two with the two-frame on the turnip. Scarf. Oh, that's it. Goodbye. Game two going to Scarf from Dayton. You know, uh, he was one of the... F I think he might be one of the only Dayton players that invaded today because uh, I know that a carpool of uh, Hollywood Grand Siamion, I think they all went to Game Arena. Um, I don't even know if there's any other Dayton players here at the moment, but... If it's only him, Scarf is holding it down pretty damn well right now because that was a very, very nice second game. Elfels kept it, like, close to even the whole time, but Scarf had the lead for the entire game. Like, he never he never dropped into, uh, he never dropped into la in the second place, like, once. But let's see how this goes for game number three. Uh, I can't imagine, these guys have not played before, I don't think. Uh, Elfels, you know... One of the boys, very uh, very good sport, just very nice to everybody. I don't think I really don't think there's anybody that has bad blood with Elfels. I don't think it's, I don't think it's possible. And I can say this exact same for Scarf. Uh, according to Scarf, he was the one who uh, founded the Miami University Smash Club, and now look where we are today. We've got uh, support from Miami University, the players from Miami. We've got a group from Wyoming that really that is a big Miami supporter. So. And we got some players from Montana and Maine coming out too. So it all comes back to this man. And it's good to see him doing well because he deserves it. And he's put his time into a character that's very hard and that most people wouldn't even dare trying to use for bracket ever. But we're going back to PS2 regardless of uh, Scarf winning on this. Elfels wanted to go back here. And I went for a read there but didn't quite get the dash attack. Now, Peach down throw, you know, at that pers at that point, I mean, even with the platform there, he would still be able to get the backers. So I'm just thinking, like, unless you think you can get some crazy combo started, you should probably go for the percent. Although, uh, Scarf is the Peach player, so maybe he was going for something uh, out of pocket that I don't know about. So maybe I shouldn't talk. <laughs> Ooh, wow, he had time to parry and shield, like, in between the two hits of dash attack. I like that. And just, just a lot of stuff in this matchup that you don't really see as much. And down throw backer... 
Ooh, oh wow, these turnips are so scary. W with no hitbox coming up on just the uppy part of Rob's recovery, it's very scary to get hit by one of those, because you know, the more you get hit by one, the more guys are burning, so. Ooh, floating over the forward smash and the back air. And is that going to be a down throw again? Yes, it is, but no conversion this time because of the high percent and the gyro coming out. Canceled by the fair, though. Oh, jeez, yeah, l -fouls. Just kind of, like, using his little stubby arms with Rob to keep... Oh, no! No! Oh, that's so brutal from l -fouls. The gyro coming in to get the kill off the side. The leading scarf off the left side of PS2. And nice turn of into dash attack. Yeah, that was an amazing snipe. And the gyro canceling out the turnip again. And Scarf, I think he got all three of his kills last game with back airs. So if Elfowls can space his way around that because it's his fastest aerial, like, that is used for killing purposes, then he'll be good. No way. Oh, man. Elfowl is looking super, super vicious right now. Uh, what would I even do here at this percent? Oh, okay. Catching the jump with the side B. And gets the turnip. Okay, that was, he read, like, his soul to go all the way down there for that. And, yeah, if he gets a really strong turnip right now, he might be really, he might be solid, but actually, he probably would want to wait until next stock to get one of those. Like, if he gets a stitch, there we go. There's the backer, like I was mentioning. And, oh, no Elfels. No Elfels. Okay. <sighs> no side B. I was waiting for it. Yep, just getting the low percent combos. You know, down throw forward tilt, always guaranteed regardless of the eye there. Oh, Scarf, this is, whoa, nice. That was so clean. Dude, I love watching this guy. That was such a clean conversion. Like, as many times as I see stuff like that uh, with Peach players, you know, like, like Mute Ace and, um, and, like, Alex back in the day, like, I still am never cease, I never cease to be impressed by these characters. Oh, man, caught you slipping with that roll from ledge, but Scarf lucky enough to uh, live that to see another day. Oh, that's it. Yup, Elfels just... It was even maybe a minute and a half ago, but Elfels found his footing, found his momentum, and he just carried it all the way through to the end of that set to take it 2-1, denying the upset. So, good stuff from him. And I'm going to check.